Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Social Showcase. In today's video, we are going to draw a portrait of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. In this video, you will see the basic process of drawing a portrait. This might be easy for some students who have already tried uh, to draw a portrait in this way and for those who are doing it for the first time well it will be a little difficult for you but you know the phrase that practice makes you perfect so if you are going to practice in the proper way definitely you will excel in portrait making so let's start the video So the first and foremost thing which you are going to do, you have to analyze, uh, you have to observe and you have to guess what will be the exact height of the portrait. So if suppose my paper is of this height and I know I have to draw within these margins. So let us say my portrait will uh, start from uh, probably this place and it will, my, the face will probably end this place and so that my body will end here so within this space my entire portrait will be <coughs> drawn so when starting a portrait you have to see uh, what is the angle of the face which means uh, in which angle the person is looking so here in this photograph we are seeing that Netaji is looking to his uh, probably right side and in the photograph we can see it's his left but on actual terms it is on his right he is looking to his right side so so we know that uh, the eyes will look this side and we have to draw a basic shape of the face that will be somewhat like this which which will include all uh, as you know that the shape of the head is somewhat oval but the uh, front face of the front part of the face is somewhat uh, flat so you can do something like this you imagine him to be ba uh, bald and uh, not with a hat so if the hat starts from here let his head be like this okay and let his face be like this and here let his chin end here so this is how he is looking somewhat upwards okay and the neck goes like this down and here goes the collar and the neck part so what like this here goes the shoulder so this is the basic uh, like I have divided it into some but few shapes so that it will give me a rough idea where I'm going to draw my portrait like i know this is my space and i have to work accordingly next part will be <clears throat> next part will be you will have to uh, find how much part the uh, cap is covering and where the eye should be okay so if we are going to observe the portrait properly especially this side of the portrait in the photograph we can find that the that the uh, specks uh, or the eyes they lie exactly in the middle of the entire length like from the length of the cap from here till the chin the eyes they lie almost in the mid mid section and they don't extend towards here rather if we are going to draw two lines to show uh, the the eyes actually to uh, draw these lines in such a way that the eyes they fall in between those two lines so it will be somewhat like this since the uh, the angle of the eyebrows will be like this so here is the angle of the eyebrows there it goes like this so probably here in the middle we can draw the eyes and the nose will probably fall somewhere here almost towards the edge of the face so it will be drawn towards the edge of the face 
like this so this will be our nose let's let's see see one thing i'm doing when i'm observing the image the photograph i'm seeing some dark shadows here so these shadows will be guidelines for you you have to draw these shapes which the shadows are forming so i can see a triangle forming under the nose so i have drawn this triangle like this then after that there is the lips uh, which is probably here there is a big shadow here and the lips will probably end here and there is another shadow which goes like this which forms the chin like this and it goes down like this somewhat like this so this is a rough sketch again again the next thing which i'm going to draw is i am going to see where the specks will lie suppose the specks are going out of the face they are outside of the face and they are somewhat like this uh, touching the nose here so this is our specks okay. then here will be the top line of the specks uh, here will be the other eyebrow like this here okay just it starts from on top of this nose and it goes here this will be the other C. You can see that there is no clear uh, image of the eyebrows. You can only see a dark black patch here. So this patch you have to draw the basic shape of the patch. Later we are going to give the detailing like this. Let's, let's let this be the basic shape of the patch which joins the specks here like this. <coughs> here you can see there is a bulging. There is a big bulge here which forms the uh, forehead and which goes and merges with the it merges with the cap here like this so this distance uh, that is from the eyebrows uh, to the first first uh, like fold of the cap it's like there are two buttons here okay this entire length is somewhat equal to the length from eyebrow to the nose so we are seeing that this is our almost equal this length and this length so we are on the right track so now moving on we have to draw the fold like this it's somewhat outward like this and you can see still uh, here the fold is here and if we are going to draw a line like this the cheeks will probably fall here so this is how you you know see from different angles this part is uh, like parallel to which part of the uh, face okay if we are going to draw a line then like this with a little bit of angle then which part of the face will touch this line so this is how you observe and you, you start drawing and slowly your drawing will come out uh, perfectly so here is the next fold this you can do of any size like not too big this is not this should not be a big concern so it goes like this little bit and then it goes down like this curve okay so now let's moving on to the moving on to the <coughs> main subject we can see that this part of the eyebrow is thick black there is a black shape here the black shape of the nose goes like this it forms the uh, second glass of this second frame of this spec this is the second part of the spec which is somewhat we are looking at it uh, with a perspective so it's not completely circle it's oval or elliptical like this then it merges with the eyebrow somewhat like this then there is the frame which uh, goes to on to the top of the ear which is at an angle like this so this will be towards the ear and you can see the top of the eyebrows and the top of the ear are on are in an angle in this manner so we have to find what is the length of this and then we can draw the ear here okay and what will be the this will, this will be a basic drawing i have not yet finished this drawing properly so these this 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 is everything i'm doing just for a basic idea okay now you can see this bulge, bulging part which I have told you just below the fold of the cap. Here you can draw the cap 
you can find the curve of the cap somewhere like this you have to find the distance between the eyebrow and the cap line here so you can just you know guess that this is somewhat like this it's still going up here then it it, it goes down like this it doesn't go too much down it's somewhat straight straightens somewhat straightens and it goes like this like this okay somewhat see this is a basic idea I'm, I'm just telling you giving a basic idea then we will be doing the detailing and everything where you can rub erase and you can start drawing more lines okay this is just a basic idea so <clears throat> now after this you can see the chin coming out here since i'm following the dark lines wherever there is dark patches you have to follow those lines you have to draw those dark patches only those dark patches will give you your entire drawing it will make the drawing very easy you just have to follow the dark patches that's all there is a contrast between light and dark so those that con contrast will create edges and those edges will help you out to find the drawing properly so we we know that we have a dark triangle here under the nose and uh, this nose uh, goes and touches the frame here and there is another dark patch here okay showing the cheek uh, which connects the frame here this goes gently softly uh, edge of the cheek okay which goes down and which uh, goes down and this forms the uh, dark patch of the lips so here under the nose you can find the depth of the lips the, there is there is a depth in just above the lips under your nose there is a like uh, depth here okay so this deep part you can draw like this okay and you can show that this is a this is a shadow part and i can see the shadow running like this then i can find the drawing of the lips here you have to find the exact drawing like which angle the lips is tilting so i can find that this the lips is somewhat tilting like this like this this is the angle of the lips this goes like this and this goes down like this somewhat like this so we will be drawing it very carefully let's see okay here is the let me draw it again yeah so this is the dark part of the, under the nose which goes and touches the lips like this so here is the lips continuing and this there is a highlight here under the nose here is the uh, depth of the nose then <clears throat> probably this depth will rise up a little bit and it will form the entire lips like this and the lips goes down and it joins this dark part which goes down like this beside the cheeks and this this particularly dark line from the uh, specks here beside the nose this shadow this connects with this particular line and it merges with this line so this is one way of doing it and we have to find the bottom lips also so we can find that this part of the entire lips is completely dark so we're going to shade it a little bit we are going to shade it a little bit like this then we have to draw the shape of the bottom lips there is a white line there you can find that white line you have to be very careful to keep that white line as it is the lips are a bit thick this dark portion is a bit thick here it's it's a bit thicker this goes like this curves goes down to form this dark patch okay so somewhat like this then the bottom lips goes like this again here is another little bit of shading which continues this part will be white under that it will be dark here it, here there you go this portion is dark and then we have to see that this portion will be merging with the entire part of the cheek which will be dark 
okay so somewhat like this okay here is the chin part i'm just you know trying to detail trying to give the detailing of the chin part which merges with the cheek here and this is the outer part of the cheek which goes somewhat like this it bulges out a little bit here goes up goes a little bit inside near the lips and when it reaches the nose it reaches no it bulges out a little bit and it goes back in towards the nose like this and then it fades away the nose stands here little bit protruding out like this like this so this is this is see you can al already see that it's coming out here the portrait uh, somewhat is coming out and uh, we can find a resemblance between the image and the portrait here i think it should be a little bit more like tilted towards here like this so this is how it should be right and here is the lower part of the neck it goes like this we'll paint up these extra lines so it will be clearer to you like this it goes like this in this part especially it's it's very dark under the chin and everything so you have to you know for shading shading is a different thing and it it really uh, needs a lot of attention uh, to really you know look it look to make it look alive you have to be a uh, very particular with shading which is a different uh, part all to the all together so now we are concentrating on the drawing first that's another very important aspect of a portrait drawing drawing is very important once your drawing is good uh, so and you are average at shading still you can make a good portrait but if your drawing is wrong and still you are good at portrait like good at drawing but your draw uh, sorry good at shading but your drawing is wrong then the portrait will be a completely disaster okay so next part you can see this 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 particular dark shade these lines uh, we can see that it's coming down here okay and it is it connects the chin here somewhat okay we can see the white part like this bulging out and the shading part going a uh, little bit top of the chin like this and it connects this part okay there are some light shades here and some dark shades below that this part is very bulgy very round you can see a thick part of this here like this so those things we can make up we can uh, make it up later and this is as i told you i'm just doing a basic drawing of it so these parts will be very dark as it is obvious from the drawing like this okay now i can see the light part moving upwards here making the cheek these are the shadings continue here this is the cheek part which uh, goes on to connect the ear also like this so these are all shading parts so these drawings you should you should you should draw these lines to make this uh, the drawing pop out somewhat like this always follow the dark shading and the uh, the the edge of the uh, light part and the dark part you follow that those edges and your drawing will be complete and you have to also keep in mind that which part of the suppose here is the, this line particular line of the uh, the cap okay uh, how much uh, it is for, how much far away it is from the specs okay from the frames you have to be very particular about it you have to be very like uh, you have to observe keenly what is the angle of this bulging part what it is making how much you are, if you find this that it should be a little bit more inside then you do it and you rub the outer part so your drawing should be as perfect as you can you should make it as perfect as you can okay once your drawing is perfect now the shading is just uh, i should say a like formality okay even though you are not good at shading but you are good at drawing then still you will be able to uh, make a good portrait 
so that's that's the key so now you can see that our portrait is coming out slowly slowly this part is almost complete what i'm doing i'm just following the dark uh, edges uh, the edge means the edge of the dark and light this these parts i'm following and i'm trying to draw these parts once i'm doing that my my drawing is getting clearer and it's it's coming out properly okay i can see a dark patch of the uh, the shadow part of the specks like this the shadow part is somewhat like it should not be ac that accurate you should not like try to make it very accurate okay shadow can differ uh, with the light so even if it is not that accurate still the portrait will look good but make it as accurate as possible if you can't then and make it in any way see i'm i'm not giving too much time to that shadow part it's it's not that important but what is important is the these outer shapes and the shape of the chin um, how much light is falling here what should how, what level of darkness is here these are very important um, once you get in uh, get in like get a hang of it everything becomes more and more clearer and easier to you see our drawing is coming out and <clears throat> i can see uh, the collar properly now i can adjust my drawing accordingly so the other color will somewhat start for start from here it's in somewhat this kind of angle straightens here goes back what should be the distance from this and this um, this is what somewhat you have to guess you have to observe you have to estimate um, uh, freehand uh, sketching you have to estimate many things okay you have to calculate you have to observe now somewhat like this this goes down like this it connects here okay now this part will be just a little bit of shading like this goes thin and then it goes thick goes like this so there is a button here uh, back of the head it starts from here the back hair goes like this there is a bulging out here you can see that just if you draw a straight line from the mouth the bulging comes here so we are on the right track here it bulges like this there is a bulging okay now this portion goes round and goes in like this then this is how you complete the back side of the head okay so so you see uh, no matter how good an artist is he cannot make like a hundred percent accurate portrait it might be 99.99 but it cannot be hundred percent because something which is made by nature itself you cannot replicate it exactly onto a paper exactly means 100% which is impossible so if you are like somewhat acquiring the basic shape and if your portrait is somewhat looking like that person then you have achieved something and uh, with uh, practice uh, obviously your skills will improve and you will definitely become a better portrait artist Day by day, well, but everything comes uh, only if you practice more and more. That is the key. Once you practice, uh, when you practice more, you don't have to. At some part of time, if somebody asks, draw me a face of a girl, you can draw it out of your memory. You would not, you will not be like needing a reference picture for that. Okay, it it becomes easy day by day but you have to keep on practicing you have to keep on practicing you have to uh, keep on giving your um, effort everything and, uh, and one day you will succeed definitely okay so we have got our basic basic uh, basic sketch here now we can move on to the shading part uh, the only thing left is the uh, ear and the eyes and we are going to draw whatever we are seeing on the screen we can see that there is from this part this particular shading it continues there is a line here okay dark shading edge which goes this is the sh shadow of the cap probably 
yes shadow of the gap it goes on like this under the gap then the shadow thickens a little bit like this thickens and it merges with the um, the dark uh, depth tone the deep tone of the hair and where you are going to draw the hair so it will be somewhat like here so there you go probably our hair will be here it connects the frame here and the angle of the frame might be somewhat a little bit more downwards I'm doing that right now so there you go and the next part will be see if you are doing the hair here uh, you will be uh, so if you are doing the hair here the hairline is here uh, the cap line will be somewhat here okay hairline will be here mm, yeah uh, so mm, it must it connects the frame here the frame will be at an angle like this not more not less this is what i can guess out of the uh, picture and the length will be somewhat uh, our ear will start here that means the basic line which we gave for our ears is somewhat the right uh, the ear which we which we have drawn earlier is at its right place so we are not um, too wrong so here you are going to complete the ear and this shading part which goes upwards like this here upwards and this particular shading part it goes and it merges merges with the here like this here there will be a dark shadow and there will be a dark tone here also maybe the shadow of the ear will fall downwards like this under the like this will be the jawline somewhat the jawline follow the shadows that's that's the key just follow the shadows the edges of the shadow and that will give you drawing that will give you your drawing this part of the shadow connects to the hair like this okay the hair will be like this okay onto the collar here In the hair you can bulge it out like this okay. uh, this part looks a little bit thicker so we can make the ear little bit more bigger and thicker okay this part looks okay now and probably this part we can cut it short somewhat like this and you can bring it down like this make it a little bit thin like this okay and you can rub the extra part here rub the extra lines because they will confuse you later when you are when you are shading the entire drawing they will confuse you so you have to rub those extra lines so this is our basic sketch okay you can see uh, it's it's quite obvious how many uh, now things are coming out uh, you can find uh, the portrait uh, coming out slowly okay the main thing is you have to see the edges edges of these the shadows okay those edges will give you your drawing so you have to be very very keen with your observation uh, another uh, trick is that uh, you also have to see the angles uh, you have to draw imaginary lines like from uh, under this spec uh, from below this spec this part of this spec to this part of the spec. what what should be the angle if it matches to your drawing that means you are doing it well okay that angle you are on the right track so that's how it's done that's how it's done uh, that that's how it should be uh, now we are going to see the part of the eye here that's all I, I, I can left to do in this drawing then we can move on to the shading part so this here this shadow this joins this part of the shadow uh, there is a white triangle here white triangle then this is all dark this is all dark I'm just you know making the dark part visible properly so that it, it doesn't like confuse me it will not confuse me when I'm shading that's why I'm putting the dark parts properly that triangle is white so we're going to leave it 
this is somewhat the drawing of the eye and here will be the frame which which, which is slightly thick like this okay. frame is slightly thick it goes on it goes upwards and meet meets with the eyebrows shape of the eyebrows which is completely dark that's how it should be okay, here the dark shadow goes on to make the nose here like this this part of the nose is somewhat dark it merges with the eyebrow and the uh, specs like this let's draw the other eye I can see this part of the eye popping out like this then it goes down pops out it goes down like this then here I can see the eye there is another shadow shedding here you can see that this is the other eye which which makes a small triangle here and the nose line of the nose goes like this goes like this there is a small triangle here this is all dark then it connects with the nose here You have to see the angle which it makes with the other eye see so we are almost on the right track right this is where the line should be and it forms a small triangle with the nose like this there you go done and the nose is somewhat going upwards like this it curves around here merges with the dark shadow part there you go this is how you should be drawing the portrait and this part of the dark shadow part it comes like this it gets darkened here it connects with the eye here there you go there's somewhat darker line dark line on the eye like this okay yeah we are doing it right yes Yes, we are on the right track. This is how the portrait should look like. And then you can add the dark lines here so that you don't get confused while drawing the inner part of the ear. Just follow the dark lines. That's all. The dark shapes, which, you know, the edges, which they will show you the proper drawing of this particular thing. just like this goes like this there is just another small light like this which falls like this this part will be dark these parts will be dark these parts will be dark there you go there you go that's it and there will be a small dark portion here also and dark portion the line goes and connects here Okay, so these this is our basic sketch done. Now drawing is complete. Now we are we will be moving on uh, to the shading part. Yeah. Okay, so uh, now we are going to start our shading part. For shading, I'll be using this uh, soft charcoal pencil. So you can uh, use any dark pencil like uh, 7B or 8B for the darker shades and for the lighter shades you can use uh, 4B and 2B pencils. So I am using this charcoal pencil so that you it will be easier for you to uh, see the shading properly because usually if I am going to use this graphite pencil you can see that there will be a shiny luster of this pencil so that's why the exact shading will not be properly visible in the camera okay now even now i have drawn this particular drawing with the help of a graphite pencil so if, if i'm doing like this you can see the luster okay it shines it's not that clear but when i'll be shading it with my uh, charcoal pencil the luster will not be there it will be matte finish it will not be glossy and it will be more clear 
uh, in the camera so let's start with the shading as you can see in the uh, drawing I, ha I have this pencil I'll be shading all the darker parts parts first I can see the um, you know shape I have to make the shape of this eyebrow first like this <laughs> now when you're drawing with soft charcoal pencils uh, lots of dust particles and charcoal particles will come out so you have to be extra careful for them so you have to blow those charcoal pencils dust particles away okay those particles of those charcoal soft charcoal you have to blow them from time to time blow them away okay now here is the dark part there you go so somewhat the eyebrow goes like this like this goes higher like this straightens about the frame like this here is the drawing of the eyebrow proper drawing this is my eyebrow it merges with the frame here so I'm going to merge it with the frame like this edge of the frame I'm going to draw it properly now I will be putting this video into fast forward mode or uh, time lapse mode because this video is uh, being too lengthy so to finish it quickly I need to put this entire shading part of the video uh, into time lapse so that it uh, finishes early quickly and if you have any doubts regarding shading and all you can put your doubts into the comment section and I will try my best to answer it in my uh, next video or I will be replying you directly in the comment section so uh, watch carefully how I am trying to maintain the light and shadow of the uh, entire portrait